Everybody's so creative. You ready to show off tonight for your children and let them know you know what you're doing in the kitchen? Grab yourself a bag of mozzarella sticks and throw them at the bottom of a baking dish. Yes, they are delicious fried, but we're not going to do that today. We're going to give a healthier option. All right, after you get those lined up, then what's next? Oh, get yourself a box of macaroni and cheese and pour those noodles right over top. That's right. You don't have to boil them on the stove. You can put them right into this baking dish. Nobody has time or is even going to feel like cleaning the dishes after eating this. I promise you that. Now, after you put it all over the top of your mo breaded mozzarella sticks, get that powdered cheese pack and dump it all over top. I know it looks different, but I promise you in the end, it'll probably be somewhat familiar to something you might have seen. Pour the milk in. That's right. I know it's soggy. Yes, that's what you're going for. You want those mozzarella cheese sticks to get all soggy with that milk. Why? I'm not sure, but we're going to find out. All right, now you want to pour some water in because you need more liquid for all of this. You want to make sure those pasta noodles cook. Oh, now get yourself some cheese bites, macaroni and cheese bites, and put those right on the top. You know why? Because you just want to show off and let them know I do have money. The box macaroni and cheese just was a disguise. See that? See how different it looks? See how it looks meatballish? That's what you're going for. Similar to a meatball. Now you want to put more cheese on. Put some real cheese on. You know why? Because it ain't going to slide down easy if it ain't cheesy. And let them know you do have more, 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 more money. Because that cheese is a little bit more expensive than the powdered cheese that you have down inside of the macaroni. Now put that in the oven at 450 degrees for 17 days. Oh, see how different that looks? That's what we're going for. We're going for meatball, don't know what's under the bottom, spaghetti, maybe cheese, and it's all sorts of surprises. That way when you cut into this, I'm pretty sure you're going to get all types of temperatures of cheese just bursting out into your mouth. You'll probably go, hey, hey, hey loud as Michael, when you're biting into that cheese. Let's see how it looks inside it. Now you want to cut it like it's a pie. That way they really don't know what's going on. If you grab a piece of that, I'm pretty sure you would have to figure out what's inside. See how different it looks? It's supposed to look.